Okay, it is saying that it's recording. I did not hear it say that it, it is recording, but it usually means that it is recording and it says that it's screen recording for us right now. Um, so just for everybody who will be hearing this later on, I am on a call with Lisa Rickard right now. And the Lord himself wanted to lead this and go over just a few things. And we only have a short amount of time. So um, I'm believing that we're, we've got it recording, Father, and that all things are in your hands. We hand all things over to you now. We go into the back of our being and we usher you forward. We roll the red carpet out for you. This is your word. This is your revelation of what you want to bring forth. I have goosebumps all over me, Ava. You told me you were going to show up and here you are. And Father, we we just want to to be your vessels, cleared out, open, emptied vessels for you to bring forth what you have in this timely period right now, Father. And you've shown just a couple things uh, ahead of time that you would like to go over. And one of those things, Father, that you wanted to um, go over was introduction of Lisa to uh, a quick little introduction of Lisa, uh, your servant. Your um, she she loves you with everything that she has. And she and she desires nothing more than to put you in the spotlight, Abba, and to bring forth um, a connection between you and your people again. And she's doing such a great job with that. And so we want to um, do that today, Lord, as you lead. And she had brought forth a few things that you found to be um, very, very important and timely in this hour, Father. And so we'll, we'll go over reading a couple of those things as well. She shared a, an article with me today um, that has to do with Basra. And um, we're we're going to go over that from, from Jeremiah. It's a brief read, Father. But again, we this all glory to you. And um and uh, we look forward to seeing what you're going to do in this call. And we give you all, all the glory and all the love and the full platform in, in your son's holy and precious name. Okay. Everybody, this is, um, we're going to, you know me and I talk a lot, so we're time pressed right now, um, but the but the father wanted to bring up a few things today. And I'm going to begin this by by prefacing that he's been speaking about judgment to both Lisa and I, um, as well as his love. It's twofold. It's not one or the other. It's both. Um, it's both about things that are going to be coming into the earth that are incredibly important for us to be aware of um, and prepared for, as well as the 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 fact of the matter is that he is calling a, a, a he's calling his people he's calling hearts and minds of people he's calling them to connect back with him again um, he's calling for salvation he's calling forth for a harvest and the 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 tribulation periods all throughout scripture are here to grab the hearts and minds of people the lives of people shake things up to get us to focus on what is eternally important and not what is temporally important in the world only. These things will affect us, but it has it has a much broader scope than just uh, worldly affairs. It has a scope of gr grabbing people unto salvation. The Great Commission in this earth is that the Lord wanted to reconcile his people, which means save them, and save reconcile them from what? From estrangement, and reconcile them to what? To him, and to safety, and into his arms. And that's incredible incredibly important. And uh, there's very few people that I know that the Lord just grabs a hold of straight from the heart, uh, like Lisa, and he really grabs her and he speaks directly to her heart. She has gone through a lot of healing. Um, she doesn't always speak about that. And, and here you're flooding me with goosebumps. You don't do that so much anymore, Abba, but you are. It's beautiful. Um, she's gone through a lot. She really has gone through a lot and she's gone through a lot of loss. And today happens to be a very special day for her. To her, that's very personal, um, but it is. And so it does not surprise me that the Lord would pick a day such as this to honor um, Lisa and honor her heart and honor, honor her dedication in so many different ways that has been um, confirmed again and again today for her absolute love for the Lord and her absolute love to witness his love for people to people. Um, it's just been an incredible, incredible um, 
honor that he connected me in such a time as this to such a one as her. And it may sound like I'm lauding her up a lot, but what I have to tell you is the reason that I am grateful to this vessel, this sister of mine, is because he has used her so many times to enlighten me and to help me. And it hasn't always been easy. Some of those times were real, really rough times. Um, but the sisterhood that we have, um, knowing each other on the other side and knowing each other in this side helps a lot to have that trust uh, where she's helped to to be a vessel that he's been able to use to help heal me in, in ways. So I am incredibly grateful, but I'm incredibly grateful because she's gotten out of the way and she allows Abba to work through her and she comes into agreement with his heart. And that's really important for everyone to understand um, about her before we even read what I'm going to pull forth and read now what she brought forth today. And then a quick little um, ex like an excerpt or excerpt or whatever article on uh, Jeremiah about the current times. And then we will see where Abba wants to speak briefly on that. Um, she put, she released today uh, two, two posts on her social media. And again, her name is Lisa Rickard. If you're looking on Facebook, that's where you can find her. And I'm only saying this and I don't normally do this, right? Cause we're a nameless and faceless people, which is what, why you don't see anyone on the screen really um, right now on video or anything like that, because we're directing everything to our father and we had trouble <laughs> getting on the zoom right now. We had trouble in a lot of different ways today, just getting here. So we have it uh, to where we're recording uh, through a phone call. So having said that, um, she is on social media. And I'm saying that again, because what the father is releasing through her is twofold important. He is he he's turning her in a direction right now where he's including judgment. They're 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 more straightforward and uh, harder words to hear. But it's always prefaced primarily first with the love of God that he has extended to everyone. And it's incredibly important in this hour. And so I'm going to read both of these posts that she put out. Uh, the first one, she says, I'm sharing this today. Um, and what is the date today? So we can tell it uh, Tuesday, September 24th, if you're looking for this online and a future date, I am sharing this today. However, Sunday is when I felt the heart of heart of King, heart of the King so strongly that I could not stop the flow of tears for most of the day. I kept feeling his heart so much. I felt the sadness in his heart. One of the things I felt is how gossip, slander, and knocking down our brethren makes him feel. Tears just keep flowing. I said, Jesus, why can I not stop crying? What am I feeling? And he said, you're feeling my heart and how these things make me feel. This saddens his heart so much. The hour is so very late. The time is drawing near. There is such division within the brethren that is hurting the heart of our king. May we shift our eyes from all the distractions of the enemy and lock our eyes on our Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I felt his heart so strongly because the time is almost out how much he longs for his children to gather in one accord with his heartbeat of love, compassion, empathy, mercy, and grace to gather with one heartbeat of his love, sounding the call of love over the fallen earthly realm for all to return back to their first love, Jesus, Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let us come together with hearts of love. Let us come together as true eagles of his love with the desire of our holy king's heart burning in our chest for all to return back with a heart of repentance to our beautiful savior, our holy king. May his heartbeat be our heartbeat in every way. May his flame of love burn upon our hearts for all to know the love of our savior. On another note, Abba spoke a love letter to my heart several days ago. I will share it today. It is a strong word, but nevertheless, a love letter. We must come together in one accord. The time is almost up. True eagles of his love with the heartbeat of our Abba arise for such a time as this. And then Lisa shared um, scripture, Mark 12, 31. And the second like it is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. John 17, 21, that they may, that they all may be one as you father are in me and I in you. And they also may be one in us that the world may believe that you sent me. 
John 17, 22 through 26. And the glory which you gave me, I have given them that they may be one just as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be made perfect in one and that the world may know that you have sent me and have loved them as you have loved me. Father, I desire that they also whom you gave me may be with me where I am, that they may be behold my glory, which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. O righteous Father, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you sent me. And I have declared to them your name, and will declare it, that the love with which you loved me may be in them, and I in them." Acts 2, 1, when the day of Pentecost had come fully, they were all with one accord in one place. Now, I know you wrote this with him. I know he gave this all to you. Is he speaking anything else to you about this specific word before we move on? Because it is talking about the one accord. It's talking about the brotherly love, and it's talking about returning to first love again. Right now, there could not be anything more important, not even the judgment that we could talk about, none of that. Is he saying anything else to you right now that he's asking you to speak on? First of all, Deanna, just um, just I love you and appreciate you so much, and I thank all of us for you, and um, just that He brought us together for such a time as this, and um, I'm just in awe His of His love over and over and over again, and I just appreciate you, who you are, who um, a carrier of His presence, authentic devout, loyal soldier of his love. And um, I just appreciate you. And it's an honor, it's an honor to march with you, sister, in his army of love. And um, I just thank you. I just, just thank you. And I, I thank our Papa for you. And um, I'm just really, really grateful. And this is all new to me doing anything like this. So yeah. Amen. <laughs> um, um, it is, um, it's, this is interesting. Abba has his own ideas and he's funny he's really funny i've learned this his timing's not our timing and his ways are not our ways and he's just he's our abba <laughs> and um i'm just standing in awe and i'm grateful to our papa god for giving us this opportunity to come together and speak of him Amen. and speak of his love and who he is and that's his whole heart his heart is he loves us. He loves us so much. And he's he's the call of love, which he spoke to me. Um, it, I think it's been close to two years now when he asked me to start speaking of his love and write his love letters. Um, that's He started speaking to me during that time about writing of his love and telling his people of his love. Yes. And when he spoke to me and, and he began to say that, I just began to write it. You know, whatever he's saying, I'm just the pen, just write what, what Ab is saying. And one of the most profound times that um, just literally brought me, I fell to the floor because I felt just a fraction of his heart. I mean, just a fraction of his heart. And I'm... Um, he said, my people do not choose me. Yeah. They do not choose me. They choose everything but me. And they run after everything but me. And I just felt a little tiny little bit of his pain and I could barely stand it. And, um, and so that my heart has just been to speak of his love, to awaken the hearts, awaken the hearts to his love, his kiss of love. He loves us. And when when we awaken to his love we fill with his love and and then what happens is then we begin to sound the call of love yes we sound the call of love over the fallen atmosphere over the fallen world we sound the call of love and then what happens is as we gather as his eagles of love because the the, the eagles of love the heart is the heart of, of our king and our eyes are fixed on him. It's all about lifting him up, lifting him up. So all will return back and know his love, return back to their first love. Yes. And so when we come together in unity and in, in, in unity, in one accord with that heartbeat of love, 
we're so in love with him that our heartbeat is beating with his heartbeat and it burns and it, it just consumes you. His love consumes you and, and your heart is that everybody else will awaken and yes. know that love. Yes. And so you sound that call as we gather together in one accord. We sound that call together and there is nothing more powerful than his love. His love is the greatest weapon. There is nothing more powerful. Yes. It completely shatters the enemy. It completely shatters all wiles of the enemy, all witchcraft, anything of the enemy. It is just destroyed. Hallelujah. In the power of his love. And um, so in in this word that he that he spoke to me, when there's division, when there's when there's gossip and slander, and when there's all of these things, it it separates the body. Yes. And and we lose we lose all our authority and power because we're 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 in you, number one you're in you're in self and you're moving away from the Lord. Yes. And it completely strips you and that's why the enemy works so hard to create division he doesn't want us in one accord yes. in one in in with our heartbeat of our king beating and there's nothing that can stop that and so when he spoke that word i just all day i just kept crying and crying and um and that's when he said i just i felt his heart and i just felt the sadness in his heart and, um, yeah. Well, you so, know, yeah. I'm sitting here with him now and I'm looking at the time because I know we're pressed for time today. Yeah. How, however, this was just an introduction. So we know that and, yeah. it, and we knew it was going to be quick, but I'm sensing from him right now that he's like, keep us on this wavelength for, for this time. And we will do yeah. this again and we'll include yeah. the second time. We'll include the, that hard word that you got as a okay. second one. But what I yeah. really want to include right now is where you said, as the preface, as the as the beginning of your second one, you said, please, please awaken to the call of love. Surrender every chamber of your heart to Abba because time is coming. The time is coming to a close. And what I wanted to ask you, because there's nothing more important than that, um, getting set yeah. up with him. When you say the time is coming to a close, what he has said to me, now I want to ask you what he's saying to you about that. But what he has said to me about that is we're ending one thing, beginning the next. How does he speak to you about where we're at in this hour as to like, say, um, the culmination of what's ending and what's about to begin? Is he talking to you in that way? Or when you say the time is coming to a close, what is he saying to you about that? We are in such a critical hour uh, as far as what's about ready to change in our world. Mm -hmm. it, he is there is great trivia Ooh. yeah Ooh. and i know he's going to want to hit on that next <sighs> next time but i kind of yeah. wanted you to just give yeah. them a little brief on it yeah yeah just <sighs> i'm trying to put this into words um the time is now to awaken and and return back to the heart of repentance and a, and a complete surrender. Yes. Because the days ahead are, the days ahead are going to be really difficult days. And, and, and we have to be so cocooned in his heart of love because yes. we can't make it. We, we have to be, the time is now, the time is now yes. Yes. to awaken because as we know, we see scripture unfolding. We know the hour on the clock. Mm -hmm. And and he wants all to awaken because all of us, you know, the times we're living in are so unstable. Yes. And and the, ta the time is now to awaken and to awaken to, to his love and, and turn back with a heart of repentance. Yes. Um, because there is, there's, we are, we are in such a critical hour. Um, and I feel that his call. And when he began to speak that to me, when he began to say, sound the call of love, he's, he's really, 
given me, he gives me more, you know, more and more of what that really means. I feel like there's more that keeps coming forth with that. But when, when, like, because I know, again, we're running out of time. Yeah. However, he did bring up to me at the, he said, what a great way to segue into what I gave you. And what he pulled up was that Philippians um, 4, 7 verse, but he also wanted mm -hmm. me to look at um, Philippians 4, 7 through 9, I believe it was. And I just want to see um, like how we might be able to help them as we close out in prayer in a minute. But yeah. Philippians 4, 7 says, and the peace of God, when you click on peace, okay. it's talking about being quiet at quietness at rest, plus set at one again with God. And so right now he's calling for us to be at peace quiet at rest and set at one with him. That's that call. That's that heart call Lisa's talking yeah. about where, where we're, you know, the, the most critical, because I have written with and with, with an, uh, with an asterisk next to it. What's the most important thing right now. That's what Abba is telling me. It isn't how much you can surf the internet and even look at world events and affairs that are going on right now. It's to actually get in that secret place with our Lord and to yeah. repent, to repent, um, to, to seek him wholeheartedly and to look with an honest um, inventory of what's going on inside of you toward God um, and your relationship with God and getting straightened out in that area because he wants to he wants you to be at quiet rest plus set at one again with him. So when Philippians 4, 7 says, and the peace of God, which, yeah. which surpasses all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. What he wanted me to say is, First of all, I'm going to, after I ask you this question, I'm going to quickly read the next couple verses, but what he wants us to talk about briefly before we end in prayer is how do we help them do that right now with everything yes. coming in and with God's call for us to unite with his mind and his heart, how do we, how do we point them toward that peace that God has that surpasses all understanding that'll keep their hearts and minds through Christ Jesus in this time? Because it says in verse eight, Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, lovely, whatever things are of good report, if there be any virtue in these things, if there be any praise, think on these things, the, those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do those yeah. and the God of peace shall be with you. So Lisa, how can we help them right now when we're talking about they, they're going to need that peace? Uh, that surpasses yeah. all kinds of understanding, which means it's supernatural. What can you tell them about that? Yeah. Um, so what I would say is that outside of his love, you know, nothing in this fallen earthly realm will bring us peace. Yeah. Nothing. It's only in the arms of his love. So it is um, during this, during, I mean, always we want to be in that secret hiding place of his love. We want to be um, just, you know, a lot of times I feel like um, it can feel as though it's complicated to be, you know, in the secret hiding place of his love. It's not. It's just simply sitting at his feet and just and loving him, telling telling your Abba how much you love him. Yes. And he'll wrap you in his arms of love. He'll pick you up in his arms of love and he'll hold you next to his heartbeat of love. And instantly you will be at peace. Instantly your fear will be gone. And that's the thing with this world is there's so much going on. We hear of so many things all the time. Um, you know, many things that cause fear, that are scary, that make us feel unstable. And when, you know, when, it, when you start getting in that place, it, you know, it, it completely, you, it, you come off balance and yeah. you begin, your eyes begin to lose focus and you begin to just look around and see all these scary things. So when we just fix our eyes on our king, just fix our eyes on our king, sit at his feet, just start telling him how much we love him. And, and just just loving him and sitting at his feet every single time his arms are open, everlasting arms of love. He picks us up and he holds us in his arms of love. Amen. And he holds us next to, next to his heartbeat. And you know what? In that, all fear is gone. All anxiety is gone. 
anything that was causing you anxiousness is gone. Yes. And all you're here is his heartbeat. You know, he was telling me this is going to make me start crying again, which is nothing new. <laughs> but, <laughs> I, but the other night, I, I was telling him, Aka, Aka, I feel your heartbeat, your heartbeat, your heartbeat, the bump, 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 bump of his love, of his compassion, of his grace, of his mercy. It's all here was his heartbeat. And when we come and we sit at his feet, that's all we hear. Yeah. He just picks us up and that's all we hear. We just hear that heartbeat of love of compassion, of mercy, of grace, of empathy, and everything's gone. It's instantly gone. And so during this this time, we, in this very unstable time in our world, if we just press into our Abba, uh, press in and just simply sit at his feet, he will always pick us up. His arms of love are always open, always, yes. always. And that's it. it. It's quite simple. Um, but a lot of times as people, I think we complicate things because yeah. we're people. <laughs> and his love is so simple. And it's the answer for everything. So it is so true, isn't it? Because I was on with Mark yesterday, Mark Breen. And I said, you know what the purpose of life is? Everybody wants to know it's to be loved by God. Literally, like that's yes. our purpose, yes. because that's why he wanted a family. He wanted to be able to love and extend and raise them up in, in his way, like him, but love them. He wanted to love. And our purpose is to receive that love. It can be one of the most difficult things. But when you really sit here and think about what, what verse eight is saying in Philippians four, I mean, he is what, that thing that's true. He is that thing that's honest. He is the thing that's just. He is the thing that's pure. He is the thing that's lovely and of good report. And he is the virtue and these, he is the one that is praiseworthy to think on. I mean, that is what verse yes. eight is essentially. And when we will, that was the thing I had trouble with because of my brokenness inside, because of the lie that I, that I had believed for so long because of what had happened to me in this life was I really struggled with that. That's the war. I think people don't understand that is the warfare. That's the spiritual yes. warfare. And it was through you and others helping me where Abba kept coming in going, no girlfriend, I have so much love for you mm -hmm. to receive. And yes. it took some time, but I had to do my part, which was to fight, throw down. What, what is it? Cast down every, Every wicked imagining yes. and thing that sets itself against the knowledge of God and the knowledge yes. of God mm -hmm. was that I love you and he loves you all out there too. Yes. every one of you listening he <laughs> loves you all out there Probably. the same and he is he is what Philippians 4 8 is concentrate on him so when you want to know that kind of peace that is going to surpass all understanding and he's going to keep your heart. Like when I'm going to click on that, cause he's saying, click on keep. I want you to, to, to tell them what that means right there. Yes. It he's, says, he's the keeper of our yes, hearts, it he's says the to be the, of the guard to guard your yes. heart. He's going to be yes. the guard of your heart. It's so beautiful. Oh, yeah. It is. Amen. And I remember one time he spoke that to me. I am the keeper of your heart. You see, the enemy never wants us to awaken to who we are in our Abba, our yes. true identity. He doesn't want us to awaken to that. He wants us to, to constantly Well, strive. awaken awaken to love, right? He doesn't yes, want, that's what to, you keep saying. He doesn't want yes, us to actually birth awaken. into love. Yeah. Yes, he awakens us with this kiss of love. He, mm. he awakens us. And when we are awake, Every, everything, you begin to see everything so differently. And you realize that, you know, one of the things that Abba taught me a while ago was he said, you know, the love that I have for my children is, is, oh my goodness, that the love I have for them, I can't even put it into words. Yeah. It's just, I love my children with all my heart and all my soul. And I'll always be there for my, for, for, um, for my children. But what about the love of our Abba? Yeah. Oh, I mean, he loves us with a love that is, there's no, there's no love like his love. And there's nothing that will turn Abba away from us. Nothing. And the enemy doesn't ever want us to know that. Yes. Um, because once we awaken to his kiss of love, we are set free. And yes. every way, every way we're set free. And there's, 
there's every chain breaks off of you. And it's not, it's not this difficult um process. Like it like no, um, but it is a surrender, isn't it? Because that's yes. what I was oh, fighting. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, we have to surrender. Absolutely. We have to surrender. We have to surrender each chamber of our hearts because we hold on to things. You know, there's things. We all have different things. And yeah. he wants to surrender every chamber. And he always says that. And he'll say, surrender every chamber of your heart. And some of us, you know, we all have different things that are harder to surrender based on our life's journey and what we've been through. Um, so when we get to that place of surrender, though, everything is in his love just sets us free. And we experience his love that there's just no, there's no greater love. There's no greater peace. There's, there's nothing. It's, it is all about his love, awakening to his love. And then when we awaken, then we're so excited by his love that we just can't wait to tell everybody else about his love. And, and then there, there comes that natural witness and testimony, right? They yes. overcame the dragon by the blood of the lamb, which means the yes. life of Jesus and what he did, the blood of the lamb and the word of their testimony, their witness. Yeah. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. I know you're so being powerful. pressed for time right now. So it's time for you to pretty much go. Would okay. you, would it, would, would it be all right with you to, to have you pray us out on possibly pray Abba, for all of us to come into his peace um, that surpasses yeah. for this time period and surrender for their hearts. Anything that you would yeah. like to pray with Abba about peace and surrender? Absolutely, Sister Janet. Abba, 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 Abba. Oh, how we love you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for loving us. We love because you first loved us. We love you and we thank you and we give you all glory and all honor. And we say, here we are, our Abba, here we are. Hear our hearts of love as we cry out and into the fallen atmosphere. We release the call of love. Hallelujah. Yes. We release the call of love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We release the call of love, the roar of his love, the roar of his love yes. into the fallen earthly realm for all to awaken, to awaken, to awaken yes. to the call of love. Abba, Abba, Abba. May all awaken and hear your voice of love calling to their hearts. May they awaken every way. May every heart surrender, surrender, surrender every chamber of their hearts to you. Turn back with a heart of repentance turn back, fix their eyes on you, and return back to their first love. We stand together, and we come together in one accord, Abba, and we just ask you to hear our prayers. Hear our prayers, Abba. Yes. We ask that the call of love would completely saturate, saturate the fallen earthly realm, hallelujah, that hearts would awaken hearts would fully, fully, fully awaken to the call of love. This is our heart, our Abba. This is our heart, your eagles of love. This is your heart. We stand behind you, our commander in chief, with our eyes on you. We lock our eyes on the one true king, Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the great lion of Judea. And we roar the roar of love yes. over the fallen earthly realm for every heart to awaken, to awaken to their beautiful Savior, their Messiah, Yeshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the one true King of the universe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise you and we give you all glory and all honor. We love you with all of our hearts. We love you. Yes. Please hear our words for all to awaken, to awaken, to awaken. To your voice of love, our Abba, just love you and praise you and give you all glory and all honor forever and ever and ever. We shall sing you songs of love yes. forever, 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 our Abba. If anything good in us is all because of you. It's all because of you, yes. our Abba. Eyes on you, our Abba. Thank you. Thank you, our Abba. And we know that... Um, you hear our hearts. We love you and praise you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. 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 Amen.